In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Pack Geometry Manager. As you saw in the last video, Pack is used to put um, widgets into um, into our windows. So, in this case over here, we've actually got five labels, and all five of those have been put into the window using the Pack Geometry Manager. Um, now, Takinta has three geometry managers. We have Pack, we have Grid, and we have Place. Um, in this video series, I'm just going to show you how to use pack and how to use grid. So, on to the code. Now we know with Takinta we need to import the module for the library first, and so we have done such. Um, and I've got my usual um, little framework of comments in here, where we create the window. Um, we've created a window called root by calling tk. Um, we then set the geometry of that window, that root window, to 300 by 200, and we have got a title for it, Takinta Pack Examples, which you'll see over here. Rightio, so now we're going to add the content. So let me close him down. So add the window content. The first one, we're going to create a label, as we did last, last, um, last video. But you'll notice that there's a, a couple of additional things in here is that I've changed the background color to blue and the foreground color to white. Um, just so they're obvious which ones they are. I'm actually going to bring all the label codes up. The only way that they change is in the colors um, and in the names. So one, two, three, four, and five. Um, here you'll notice for two, three, and four, we don't have, we only have a background, we don't have a, a foreground color because the default foreground color is black. So um, I was happy with black for those ones there. So now let's look at our packs. Actually, I'll also get the main loop going. So he's available now too. So if I was to run that right now, nothing would pop up except for the actual window itself. Um, save it and you'll see that nothing's actually been put into the window. So I'm going to pack label one into here. And so label one has been packed, and now there's these two different types of commands that will, um, two of the most basic commands for pack. Fill um, basically says um, expand this out to as much as it can fit in. Um, and you can fill on the X, Y, or both. Now notice this is in capital letters because it's a, constant that comes out a value that's part of Takinta. So you either have capital X, capital Y, or both. And then the side is what side do you fill? What side do you pack it in from? So do you pack it in from the top, from the left, from the right, or from the bottom? Um, so you, you put it in the topmost available spot. So if I run that now, you will see that it's been, label one has been packed up to the top because that's where I wanted it to go. Right, now just in the contrast to that, I'm going to show you um, label five. I'm gonna pack it down the bottom as much as possible. So come down to here, label five pack. Again, I'm filling it, making it as wide as possible or, and as high as possible. Um, and the side is going to pack in from the bottom. So put it in as at the bottom as much as possible. So um, let's run that. So you can see one and five are up there. So I'm gonna put um, two, three, and four, and we're gonna pack those differently. So I'm going to bring this in, label two dot pack. I'm gonna fill again and make it fill up as much as possible. And in, um, we're gonna pack the left as much as possible. So I'm going to run him. And you see that two's been packed in. Now notice something here, that when we pack in the order, it, 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 they get put in in the order that they're actually run. So pack um, label one gets packed into the top as high as possible. Label two gets put in as left as possible because they've got to expand. It expands right down here as much as it can. So it takes up right down to the bottom. So when label five gets put into the bottom, it only expands out to as far as two. Much the same way as that two only expands up as far as one because of the order that they're being packed in. So you'll see it's probably similar to three. Now, even though I said three is the left, because two's already there, it's gonna pack in um, beside two. 
So you can see that three packs in beside two, and again, makes less space for five. So close up there. Finally, label four, save him, and put that there. So that's packing and just some ways that you can manage a little bit about how you put it um, on your screen. Um, it is the most basic form of putting your widgets onto a window, um, but it has got some functionality that's really useful. So there we are. That's our video on packing.